Denise, Denise. Denise. CBS News on the hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. Three adults and three children are dead in a mass shooting at a private school in Nashville. Metro Nashville police spokesman Don Aaron says the shooter is also dead. When the officers got to the second level, they saw a shooter, a female, who was firing. The officers engaged her. She was fatally shot by responding police officers. Investigators still don't have a motive. Meantime, President Biden is responding. And uh, we have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart, ripping the soul of this nation, and ripping the very soul of the nation. And he's calling on Congress to act. I'm Stephen Portnoy at the White House. What we saw today is devastating. It's heartbreaking. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says the president will continue pushing for a ban on semi-automatic rifles and high-capacity magazines, despite long-standing objections from Republicans in Congress. He's an optimist and he's a fighter. Jean-Pierre points to last year's bipartisan gun safety measure, the first such bill in 30 years, as one example of both sides coming together on the issue. Thousands hit the streets in Israel today to stop the government from limiting its Supreme Court powers. We're here to fight for our democracy, to take down this corrupt government. And it's working. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has decided to delay his judicial overhaul plan. The move means a general strike to shut down the country's economy has also been cut, called off. In New York, we are still waiting on a grand jury's decision related to hush money payments involving former President Trump. CBS's Graham Cates. Here we are again. There are just a couple of uh, protesters. Um, but, you know, what we know is that today they're meeting again. We don't know for sure what they're going to be doing while they're meeting again. Mr. Trump has urged his supporters to protest if he's arrested. People in Mississippi are cleaning up from an EF4 tornado that decimated entire neighborhoods over the weekend. Trying to get what we can out of the rubble. It's uh, pretty shocking. At least 26 people were killed in Mississippi and Alabama. Officials in Philly say the water is safe to drink there, but people are panic buying bottled water following a chemical spill on the Delaware River. You get panicked because you don't know whether or not, you know, things on target and how long it's going to last. And now today they were saying the water was fine till midnight, but I'm not taking a chance. The city says it will keep on testing the water as cleanup efforts continue to get rid of the eight to 12,000 gallons of a latex product that spilled on the Delaware. Tim Jimenez for CBS News, Philadelphia. That latex is non-toxic. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.